Right then, today we're going to have a look and see what we can do to set up Audiobus. And first of all, let's get Audiobus open. And the way to do that on my little iPad is to go first of all to my audio applications and start with Audiobus. Now, as you can see, I can put in input, effect, and output. And I'm going to start with input. And the input is going to be Boss Jock Studio. So I can tap to launch that now and open up Boss Jock. And as you can see, it opened up and it's come back into Audiobus. Then I'm going to go to the output and I'm going to choose the output. So as you can see, I can put it back into Boss Jock Studio. I could send it to speaker output. I could have it go to Garage Band Multitrack or Twisted Wave Audio Editor. And on this occasion, I'm going to use the Twisted Wave Audio Editor. So let's put that in there and tap to launch that. So now we've got all three applications open. Audio Bus, Boss Jock and Twisted Wave. And we're back into Audio Bus. Now, if you could do me a favor, I really would appreciate it. Click on the share button and share this video out to your friends. There are other places that you can send it out to as well, including Pinterest. And don't forget to click on the like button. Thanks a lot. And as you can see, what we've got now is we've got a little thing up on the right hand side there, which gives me access to the other applications. So, for instance, on this one here, we've got Twisted Wave. And as you see, I can't do an awful lot with that at the moment. So what I need to do is to go to it. So I tap on this button here. And that takes me into the Twisted Wave application. So now that I'm in Twisted Wave here, what I need to do is I need to get a new document going. So I'm going to go for a stereo document this time. Then I can go back into Boss Jock. Tap on that there, and that'll take us back into Boss Jock. And now I should be able to do some recording with this here. So let's try that and see what we can do with it. So I'm going to press on the record button. Let's get this started. A little bit of sound in the background. So I've pressed the uh, button for the microphone. I'm talking across the top of the music. The music is ducking underneath. And we can get some applause going as well. Okay, so I think I've been doing some recording there. So let's have a look now and see what we've got. Turn that off there first of all. Tap that button there to go back into Twisted Wave. And as you can see, the audio was going from Boss Jock and going through into Twisted Wave. So it works fairly nice and easily. So the point of this is that now that I've got it into this application here, Twisted Wave, then what I can do is I can do some editing. So maybe I want to take out this part here and tap on that there and it's been deleted. So now I can put that there. I can move that over there and delete that. Okay, so anywhere I need to do a bit of deleting. So basically I can do any tidying up that I need to do. So by using Audio Bus, we can control the recording that's happening in Twisted Wave while we're still looking at what's going on there in Boss Jock. And we can easily move from the one application to another using this little thing over on the side here that takes us from Boss Jock in this case to Twisted Wave. So there you go. That's how you can use Audio Bus to connect a couple of your audio applications on your iPad. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.